The times are dire for our Emperor Stola of Nenezia, who is not even of has not even come of age. There's some time until then. And why did we have that that gay that 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 guy here, Ragnar? Why did we have him here? Because we need allies, and Ragnar as such has a good opinion of us. He's also ambitious though, paranoid, lustful, skilled tactician. He could become a new marshal or something like that. And the thing is, we have too many duchies, and uh, we will now grant this landless lowborn man a title, and that is Koshma, the county of Koshma. That's the first act we're gonna do here, and the second act of this, we'll give him the Jardim of Pechora. Oh, the council votes no. <laughs> Let's wait. So we're at least in that limit. But no. In that case we have Grimmer of Tobish who kind of thinks we're okay. And who has been fired from the council, unfortunately. And I think if it's possible, we're gonna give him the Jaldom of Pechora. He's at least a kinsman of us. He's kind, he's chaste, he's a bit paranoid, but he's diligent, so he, he won't be, yeah, he won't be killing us outright because of his low intrigue and so, we, as the young emperor and probably our regent, have really thought about this to solve the problems, to get rid of this jardim. That is not the most important jardim. We have more important jardims. We have the jardim of Bjarmia and Swivyot that are most important here. Unfortunately, there is a lot of sickness going on there and we have a war also against King Bragg in the second of Finland for Jarl Gorm's claim of Finland that's our marshal by the way and um, what are we doing there is we're taking just some counties of Finland there's also <laughs> as you can see here there's some rebels going around here and uh, We'll see how that works out for us. So for now, yeah, there's another Icelandic army, and we're gonna we're gonna go here. It's it's a little bit dangerous, but um, send our armies around. This is Bragi's host. Yeah, but not Bragin's host. Bragin has barely many troops and uh, we'll see about what comes from him in the future we have too many vassals but it's okay it's definitely okay we can negotiate with someone named Bragi of Bragi's host you will not get anything from us And the main thing is, we want to survive, and that's why we gave up the Jaldum. Um, we ordered our region to, because people have been talking, and we are, I mean, we're already 30. We know a little bit of what's going on. Not much, but we know. And so, was there the Lapish Revolt here? What's going on here? against that Tiki man. I think that was our uncle or so. Well, it's it's not it's not our enemies here, so mm, Yeah, we'll we'll have to look how this works out. It's it's just crazy. Everything's crazy going on here. Victory, though, at the Siege of Abo, and we're going to continue. And we have news from China, but we're not interested in China. We're a little bit too young and uh, 
disoriented for that. Now let's see, there is the old Germanic uprising here. Well, we cannot care for that at the moment. We have to assist our marshal. Why do we have to assist our marshal so much? Because he's part of a faction. And it can be very dangerous. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Here, the, these guys are attacking. So the faction is dangerous for us. And by supporting our marshal, the faction will prob most probably dissolve. There's that. And now I think we probably have someone on the council who is... Let's have a look here at the rank. Rikulf, the king of Nordericke. Yeah, we have we have some people that we need to integrate somehow. But not this man. He's he's a freaking lunatic. That could be very dangerous. He has learning and he has kind of a martial skill, but he's not good at it. He's just not good at it. For these people we would have the advisor posts. But we will not change that until we're fully in power. These guys are moving away. And we have to be quick. That siege has been done and we're really gaining. We're really gaining our brave warriors are doing what they can to, to take down the Finnish threat. Faster of Sapmi in Lapland. Peasants have risen up in Lapland, my goodness. Ugh. And now we have to go to Lapland. Do we really? Well, they're moving to Westerbotten right now. I really don't know why. The Lapish War has ended inconclusively because... What happened to Jal Gorm? What happened to Jal Gorm? Well, one less war at least. And um, now we can look around for this peasant war. There's some people here moving around. Well, we don't care. Let's let's move up here if we can. We have Goberga, we have Valdemar. Um, the depressed Rickle will do well, probably. We don't really know why this ended so. Look, the peasants are having some problems at least. Well, not many though. There's just so many peasants. Have to walk quickly through this because it's uh, under the control of the disease. We could use any men. Jalberger joining us soonish. Mm. We have to be careful. Oh my goodness, Chief Aslak inherited from Chief Arnie. I think I think Arnie hated us, so that's that's good for us. Chief Aslak is a young man, just like we are. He could be a future acquaintance. It's it's just good. It's, we can also set the crown focus. Canon 
Onega, Vyamia, Duina, Upland, Kuloi. Again, Kuloi, because we have the Great Wonder there, and that's really something. 11 more men, let's move in now. There are raiders coming. Where are they even? There's some raiders here. We don't really know oh, what's happening here in our country. And now we should see what we can do. Yeah, we have we have the best commanders out there. Pretty sure of that. And now we will strike the peasant revolt. Yeah, show them, show them what we're made of. Oh my goodness, we're not made of steel. We're not made of enough steel. But slowly, but surely, our commanding advantage has has done it, and we have we have united. Can enforce the demands and get that fasty man into our prison. Wow, he's, he's just a... I mean, he's brave, and that's the only good thing you can say about him. Well, he's, he's very good at martial, so... Fasty. This will be a beautiful... Um, Sacrifice for Odin in the future. Sao Serge, they are. They're just moving through. Onega Peninsula, they're also just moving through. The army. Let's see, if anyone needs help anywhere, we're ready. We're ready for it. Let's continue our ways and actually it's probably not a bad place to stay like for example here because that's somehow prosperous it's a forest and there's no sickness there until now so we're relatively safe. Let's see. We can imprison someone. Hawkon of Sudermanland. What is this man planning? He really hates us. Desires Swiftyot is ambitious. Is the chief of Sudermanland. And the council votes no on imprisonment. Well then, how are the laws, I wonder? But Regency changes it, I can see this now. Tell him to end plot, but he will not accept. What is its plot? Fabricate a claim on... The Jaldum. Hmm. What Tiki? The Jarl of Norland is now in the dungeon of King Rikulf, our kinsman. Our good kinsman, yeah, he's also a, a strange murderer, I think, if I remember right, so maybe it's a little bit safe to have him locked up. We have a dangerous faction. This man, Sigurd, wants to lead us to independence. Let's try to bribe him with something. What does he have? He's the chief of two, two, two realms. 
Uh, can we give him... He can become the Drod City. We'll give him something and then we can also send him a gift. And maybe we can also offer him a concubine. I'm not sure. Princess Grima of Nenezia. She's our kinswoman. He's 37. Well, that's fitting, I'd say. We could also give him the possessed Hala. <laughs> Would he accept that person? Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Take Hala. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> The more I hear the words of the wise men of old, the more I want to be like them. Only from knowledge comes true strength. A scholarly and bookish di disposition. Holla will make a fine concubine indeed. <laughs> She'll remove your depression and uh, everything else in no time, I believe. Send gift, yeah. Um, now, how to get the others? How to get the others of that? So the operation making our friend is uh, maybe a little bit optimistic. I'm not sure. But let's see, who, who could we charm? Maybe the biggest supporters, maybe. Maybe this man, Rickulf. Rickulf the lunatic, why is he so... He wants a seat on the council. Mm. He could only become Let's see what kind of... Well, he's got a diplomacy, martial and learning. Oh, diplomacy. Could he also become a seer? Not really. All right, um, man, my man of Kuloi, uh, my man of Snopa. We need to get someone on our side. And it's Rickulf, the king of Norderiki, the lunatic. Goodness. <laughs> he wants to become a paragon of virtue. Hey, hey, will you join us? Please. Yeah, yeah. Please leave the faction. Yes. Oh, now that worked. <laughs> it worked. Um, it's the only thing we can do about this. What can we do here? We can disband. Yeah, let's disband the troops, but not the levies. Of course. The, I mean, the yeah. You know what I mean. Now we have too many vassals. Because we have such a low diplomacy. We are patient though. And that helps us. We are erudite. We are well groomed. And we certainly have a big understanding. Of things in general. Let's have a look at the Rock of the Raven. We could build the next stage once we have a thousand gold. That's interesting.
We can negotiate with this man. We won't negotiate. He has nothing we won't. And uh, the situation is a little bit less dangerous. But the vessel, yeah, the vessels. One title can be usurped, the Jardim of Nidoroth. We could usurp that. We control Nidoros and Halogaland, and Narmadal mysteriously belongs to that. I mean, look at that. I mean, Nidoros is here. <laughs> what? <laughs> we could usurp that. That cost a little bit of uh, money. And we could just get that from Jarl Bald, the, the cup bearer of Finland, and we could give that Jarl title to someone. Mm, maybe Chief Aslak of Nidaros. But I think we'll not do that. On the other hand, that would remove their claims on us. Hmm. Yeah, actually we'll do it. Count Balda is now there. And we'll see. We have Thora of Satakunta. Or this man, Aslak of Nidaros. He's quite young. She is. Well, she's, she's also relatively young. Hmm. We could grant her a landed title, let's see. And it would be, no, not the Kingdom of Estonia. We would give her the Jaldom of Nidaros. Would that be in? No. Aslak of Nidaros, could she get the Jaldom of Nidaros? No. Whom could we give that child? Maybe, 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 maybe our half brother? Nah, he needs a county first. We have kings, we have our spy master. Could grant him. But we have to grant him a county already. So we have these two people here. The chiefs of Sedekunta and Samland. The Jalm of Nidaros. What would we... How could we decide that? Hmm. Zealot. Unlanded, I should get the title. Okay. This man is also unlanded. Yeah, but it's a it's a freaking Jaldom. You cannot just get a Jaldom. What about him? Swayed by the diplomacy rating of other voters. Hmm. We'd really love to give him that title. Joel Berger. Now, we could request council support and we'll owe him a favor. We could buy a favor. Joel Kukyam. Yeah. 
see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, this man cannot get the title because Jalberger. And Jalberger has claims, a weak claim on the Dalm of Welsk. My goodness. I hope he doesn't want support on that. But it's okay, we can... We can have him, or oh, maybe our. Yeah, we can we can relatively trust him. We uh, we trust him most, so we'll request council support. He will support us in council, and then we can give this man the landed title, the Jardim of Nidaros, to Chief Aslak. Here we go. He'll be forever thankful, hopefully. What's about his wife? She's looking kind of really strange. She's trusting she's been blinded. Permanently blinded and a giant. She's a blind giant. What kind of odd wife does he what? <laughs> ah, Freyr has improved significantly. That's excellent. That's really excellent. <sighs> oh, yes. We're stabilizing this country. See a Holmfried burst into our chambers flank like good brand. Viglekson in chains. Who is that man? He's a branded apostate. There are many concerned peasants claiming that their children are plagued by nightmares of this man. And he's a member of a bloodline of canine blood. Oh my god, these are the, the, the wolves. It's obviously a warlock. What should be done with him? We trust her, um, we will burn the apostate, of course. Here we go. And with that nice... <laughs> uh, friendly fire, so to say. Um, we'll say thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. We'll see each other in the next episode when... With due luck... We may come of age. Emperor Sterla may reach the age of emperors and and become the true ruler of of this realm a great time until then and happy gaming this is one of a kind signing out see you soon